today uh, we shall see the problems on the belt drives so before going to problems we shall see the basics of belts so here you can see that this is a open belt drive and this is a cross belt drive or closed belt drive so here you can see that the belts uh, it is running uh, in the same direction and here the belt it is crossed and it is running in opposite direction that is here the speed of rotation of both the wheels or both the pulleys are same and here the direction of rotation of both the pulleys are different uh, here you can see that um, the tensions have been shown here on the driving pulley so if t1 is the um, tension on tight side then t2 be the tension on the slack side so we, we have already discussed what is tight, uh, tension on tight side and slack side so here you can see that uh, this is the theta this is the lap angle so lap angle it is uh, the angle up to which the belt engages with the pulley so it starts engaging from this point and up to this point it will engage with the travel pulley and uh, after this point it will leave the pulley so that is called the lap angle theta and here you can see that tc is the centrifugal tension it is uh, acting opposite to the directions of uh, t1 and t2 and these are the tensions uh, t plus delta t and this is t and uh, here uh, mu is the coefficient of friction coefficient of friction is important uh, um, in this uh, belt drives as the uh, pulley should firmly uh, fix the belt on it so if the coefficient of friction is not there then uh, there will be chances of slip and creep we have already studied uh, slip and creep so um, c capital c this is the distance between center distance between two pulleys so this is same for both uh, open belt drive and uh, cross belt drive now we shall see the problem two pulleys 200 mm in dia and other 150 mm in dia are connected by means of a cross belt drive two meters apart find the length of the belt required and the lap angle between each pulley and the belt if the larger pulley rotates at 300 rpm find the power transmitted assuming that the maximum tension in the uh, belt as 1 kN and coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0 0.3 So here they have given uh, two pulleys 200 mm in dia and uh, other 150 mm in dia are connected by means of a cross belt drive. So they have given the belts are connected in cross belt drive in this fashion. So uh, we shall take uh, uh, capital D for larger diameter and smaller D for smaller diameter. So 200 mm dia is the larger dia. and uh, 150 mm is smaller dia connected by means of cross belt drive 2 meters apart so the center distance c is 2 meters this is c is 2 meters find the length of belt required so what is the length of uh, belt required they are asking and lap angle lap angle theta theta lap angle also they are asking us to find out if larger pulley rotates at 300 rpm so they have given the speed of larger pulley we shall take it as n is equal to 300 rpm find the power transmitting power transmitted assuming that maximum tension in the belt as one kilo newton so uh, t max is equal to 1 kilo newton and coefficient of friction between uh, belt and pulley is mu 0 0.3 so this much amount of data they have given they are asking us to find the length of belt and the lap angle and the power transmitted so we shall uh, go to the data handbook here uh, in page number 289 so they have given flexible machine elements that is belt drives chains ropes they have given so in this um, from page number 290 they have given length of open belt drive and length of cross belt drive so in this problem they have given 
the length of cross belt ring so uh, we shall consider this formula here you can see that there are two formulas they are given so um, this formula it is in terms of theta this theta is lap angle since uh, we, we are unaware of the theta we shall consider this formula so in this formula uh, it is only in terms of uh, c and dd so we shall consider this formula So this um, equation 14.2c page number 290. So we shall substitute the values and find the value of length of belt. Capital D is 200 and small d is 150. 2 meter they are given we shall consider 2000 because we, because we are substituting in uh, uh, mm plus 150 plus square root of 4 into 2000 square minus d plus d 200 plus 150 square so L length of belt so on solving this um, we will get the length of belt as 4732 4732.1 mm so uh, we can also con uh, convert this to meter 4.73 meter so the length of belt is uh, 4564.7 mm this answer is wrong this is correct 4564.7 mm or uh, it is equal to 4.56 meters so next um, we shall find the angle of lap so angle of lap theta so it is given in uh, page number 289 289 they are given here angle of contact in open belt drive so these are the angle of belt for open belt drive and this is the angle of contact in cross belt drive so our problem is uh, cross belt drive so we shall consider this angle theta so uh, here they have given uh, two formulas uh, pi plus 2 sin inverse d plus d by c so this is for degrees so if you want theta in degrees you have to use this formula or uh, if you want theta in radians you have to use this formula so we shall go with uh, radians i need the value in radians so i'll take this formula so angle of contact theta is equal to pi plus d plus d divided by c so this is 14.2 a page number 289 so angle of contact pi plus d is 200 plus small d is 150 divided by c so angle of contact theta is equal to 3.31 radians so I have taken in radians so 3.31 radians now uh, we shall proceed further uh, they have asked us to find the uh, power so we shall uh,
first we shall find the velocity velocity of uh, pulley by dn by 60 so in question they are given if the larger pulley rotates at 300 rpm so they have given the speed of larger pulley so we shall take the diameter of a larger pulley by diameter of larger pulley is 200 and n speed is uh, 300 rpm divided by 60 so we will get the value of velocity in terms of uh, 3140 mm per second so because we have substituted diameter in mm uh, we have got the value as 3140 mm per second we shall convert this to meter per second 3.14 meter per second uh, I am dividing the value by 1000 that's all so I converted the value of velocity uh, in meter per second that is uh, 3.14 meter per second now in uh, question they have given the maximum tension so maximum tension is uh, 1 kilo Newton they have given so uh, in this type of problems at low velocities neglecting the centrifugal force on belt the relation between belt tensions so if the velocity uh, is low then uh, we have to neglect the centrifugal forces so we have to consider t1 by t2 is equal to e power mu theta if the velocity is high at high velocities the relation between belt tensions so if the velocity is high we need to consider tension centrifugal tension tc so in our problem the um, velocity is low that is why we shall neglect the value of uh, uh, centrifugal tension Tc. So we shall take the formula T1 by T2 is equal to e power mu theta. So this is uh, equation 14.3 A page number 290. So uh, they have given the maximum tension. Usually the maximum tension we will consider as T1. So uh, velocity is less than 10 meter per second. So uh, if the velocity is less than 10 meter per second, we shall neglect Tc. If the velocity is greater than 10 meter per second, we have to consider Tc. Now we have neglected the Tc and uh, T1 is usually maximum tension that is the tension on tight side. So we shall consider 1000 divided by T2. In question they have given uh, 1 kilo Newton. E power mu is 0 0.3 and theta is 3.31. So here in theta we have to substitute theta in radians, 3.31 radians. So on solving this we will get the value of uh, T2 as uh, 370.46 meter per second. The value of T2 is 370.46 newtons. So next uh, they have asked us to calculate the power. So we shall find the power from this equation power transmitted v is equal to t1 minus t2 into v divided by 1000 so this is 14.5 a page number 291 so we shall consider this uh, value to find the power so power p is equal to t1 minus t2 into v by so this is from equation 14.5 page number 291 t1 is 1000 minus t2 is 370.46 into v is 3.14 divided by 1000 so the value of power which I am getting is 1.9767 kilowatts. So this here we are dividing by 1000 to get uh, the power in kilowatts. So here they are given 
power transmitted in kilowatts so we have found out the value of power as 1.9767 kilowatts